welcome back to another video on Sarah Rome. This one is all about the wildlife pond which we have installed. Wow, the sun's just come out. <laughs> um, I'm in the greenhouse for the first time properly, uh, like properly actually spending time in it um, in ages because it's been like just so hot. Um, so it's lovely, just so nice to be able to spend time in here. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to be doing some succession sewing now whilst you watch the video and yes it's all about the wildlife pond um, it was installed in May, beginning of May, it's now the beginning of July so it's had a good couple of months you know um, settling in and we're going to share how we did it, how we, uh, what we planted around and in the pond and also share some of the residents and new additions to the pond. <laughs> um, we've got a few things that we need to do with it, um, but that's fine and I'll share that later on in the video. And yeah, enjoy! This patch of lawn gets the sun for most of the day and shade from the house in the early evening and it already provides shelter from the plants in the path border for wildlife to find it and exit the pond as well. The pond itself is a preformed rigid plastic pond which we bought from Facebook Marketplace for a bargain. It has these ready-made shelves and they're great for wildlife and for marginal planting and it's just a great first pond for anyone starting out. And the digging commences. So basically what you see here is Steve digging around the perimeter of the pond, which we vaguely marked out with some string. We weren't too precise with it because we knew that we were, we were fine to have some extra space around the pond because we were going to be backfilling that um, with sand and soil. And at the same time, I'm sieving out everything that comes out of that hole. I'm just looking for extra, extra soil for uh, filling raised beds and also saving the worms, of course, and putting those in the raised beds too. And now we've got to the stage where we could start testing it out just to make sure we were getting um, to the right depth. Uh, I say we, I mean Steve. <laughs> test number two we are finally very very close so I took over here <laughs> right at the end and um, just to level out make sure there was no stones there and also just prepare it for the sand that we were going to add next Here we're just adding that layer of sand and just tamping it down just to make sure it's all straight and then it was just a matter of backfilling. Um, we used some sand and the soil that we already dug out from the pond just to backfill 
and at the same time we created a little border around the pond and we knew that we wanted grass around the pond as well so we were very we were fine having just open soil on top of that. Then we added rocks from around the garden um, just around the edge of the pond which we do need to finish off um, we've still got more to add and we added the water which came straight from the tap um, you are allowed to do that um, as long as you let the pond settle for a good 24 to 48 hours which we did We then decided to add some wildflower seeds in between the rocks directly to the soil. I then planted some origeron because um, this is a great self seeder and they're just so dainty of the little daisies um, and they look great against the rocks as well. Then a few days later we lifted some of the turf around the pond um, just towards the border and added scabious, lavender, and uh, pita, salvias, just loads of pollinator friendly plants. Around a week later we bought this miniature water lily and we also bought some marginal plants as well. And two months later, it kind of feels like the pond's always been there. The wildlife flowers have um, just gone crazy. And we've got some beautiful corn flowers in there. And the uh, rigoron has just taken off um, alongside verbena, which I planted a little bit later on. And the grasses that we just allowed to go wild, um, they're doing great as well. And the water lily is just looking fantastic. The flower came out about a week ago, I'd say now, um, but yeah, it's doing really well and just looks really lovely in this size pond. But a wildlife pond wouldn't be a wildlife pond <laughs> without its residents and yeah we're so lucky that we uh, spotted, well Steve spotted this um, toad, we think it's a toad, this is a toad isn't it? Let me know. <laughs> um, so yes we've got a toad which is fantastic and we've also seen some dragonflies but I've not been able to capture them I'm afraid. We were then gifted a water snail from a family friend. Um, these water snails are really, really great for ponds as they help to clean up any sort of extra organic matter and algae. Um, so they help to improve the, the water quality. So they're really, really, really great additions to any pond. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the pond and how quick how quick a pond can come to life. <laughs> um, we do have obviously a couple of things that we need to saw in the pond. Uh, primarily the edge lining. You can see it, can't you? Hello, Polly. Can you come in for some love? 
Um, <laughs> and yeah, so you obviously can see the plastic edge lining and yeah, we don't wanna be able to see that. But when we first put the stones around the edge, the kind of, the edging, it's, it wasn't flat, it was like coming up a bit. So anyway, it got a bit, it got difficult. So we do need to change around some of the stones. We need to buy a few stones as well because we just got stuff from the garden. Um, and have a bit of a, yeah, it's like a bit of a jigsaw kind of puzzle <laughs> when it's so, But we also want to add in some sphagnum moss to cover some of the edging, which you can do as well. What are you looking at, Polly? No, you can't have that. She's always after the bullfish and bone. No. No. Naughty. <laughs> um, and yeah, I know it smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, the dream. <laughs> Um, yeah, sphagnum, sphagnum moss. Um, but yeah, if you have any other ideas, I know we should have, you know, sorted the edge in probably before we put anything in. But hey ho, that's life. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, the only other thing we're going to add is a um, fountain. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'd like to add some kind of water feature in there, um, a solar water feature. So please let us know your recommendations. Um, if you've got any um, tips or recommendations, pop them in the comments. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to get back to my podcast. Not a podcast, it's an audiobook. I'm going to get back to my audiobook and sewing these seeds. It's a buy from me. I'm just going to share Polly. Say bye bye, Polly. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Hey. Yes. So it's a bye from us, and yeah, we will see you next time. Uh, probably in about a week. Ignore all this mess. I will, I will get round to being organised in the greenhouse at some point. It's a working greenhouse, so it's going to look messy. Right. Toodle pip. I will see you next time. And have a great week. Bye.